Hello, um, I'm Barbara Krimdeek. I'm the Artistic Director of Music at St. Albans, and we're pleased to see everyone here. We're asking that you scooch together, and if you don't have a program, maybe share the programs we ran out. Yay. Um, it's really wonderful to have such a large crowd on a beautiful day like this. I have just a few quick announcements. Um, First of all, we'd like to thank Davidson Learns again for the pre-concert program. We thought it was wonderful, successful. Thank you so much for hosting that. And I have a very special thank you. Today, we'd like to thank Donna Littlejohn, who's gonna have a heart attack over there because she didn't know. Um, Donna is a former board member, and she has been helping out in the as sous chef in the kitchen for our receptions for I don't know how many years. She's moving to the mountains, and we want to give her a special thank you. She's standing in back. I'd, I'd also like to thank Leslie Rindox, who's right there. She is um, in town. She's, she had lived here for many years and now lives out at the coast and came today, so that's why I'm thanking her today. Leslie is kind enough to be our graphic designer, kind of in residence, except she doesn't reside here. She has designed the programs that you have. She designs the brochures. Um, and she house, houses musicians and cooks for them, and it's amazing, so thank you, Leslie. And a very quick thank you to um, St. Albans Church and Reverend Carmen, and also our media sponsor, WDAV, and the Arts and Science Council for their support. And for all the support that you provide, if you'd like to be a donor, just come and talk to one of us. Um, we uh, want to thank our, in particular, our homestay hosts who were willing to take a chance and host a dwarf. <laughs> You're brave. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, don't forget we have a great concert in April. Guitarist Adam Kostler and cellist Ellie Wee from um, Appalachian State, they're really amazing. They'll be here, I think it's April 28th. And keep your eye on our website. We're going to be posting the um, schedule for next season in the next couple of months. We already know what it is, but we're just going to keep it secret for now. Um, without further ado, Welcome, Poison to Dwarfs. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Um, if you were not here for our talk, um, you know, we are Poison Dwarf, and we're so happy to be here to celebrate this beautiful day. Today is, as you all know, of course, the Feast of St. Gertrude of Nivelle. She was a beautiful 7th century saint. What? No, no, we're doing our French program. What? It's my name. Oh, yeah. his name is Patrick, and apparently it's his Saints Day, and we are here to play Irish music, but <laughs> I thought we were doing our medieval French music. Are you sure? We're going to get there. Okay, well, apparently we're doing Irish today, so here we go. <laughs>
Thank you so much, everyone. We started off with a set of reels, and then we followed that with a set of jigs. As I indicated before, every one of the tunes you just heard consisted of seven different notes only. But in this wonderful music, in our view, you can do all sorts of fun things with it. We're going to now do a wonderful song by May Lee, and I'll pass the mic on to her. <laughs> Thank you. So this is a lovely tune. It's a beautiful old uh, melody. It's called Owali Wali or Oweli Weili, depending on where you are from. Um, it's in many hymnals as the gift of love. And in fact, it might be in your hymnal. Um, it's a lovely tune, so we will do it now. <laughs> Garcia, everyone. Yeah. This next set we're going to do concludes, well, I shouldn't say that, it doesn't conclude actually with it, but there is a jig within it that Lance unpacked earlier. It's known as a slip jig, which is in 9 8 time. So if anyone is interested in dancing in 9 8 time, go for it. Looks like there's plenty of room. Right, right, right down there in front. Space. <laughs>
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll sing a song for you all now. This is a Scottish song that was, uh, yes, yeah. We, we do all kinds of music here, Irish and Scottish. And uh, this song was written by, uh, written down by the poet Robert Burns. And uh, this song is timely as we are coming up on uh, April 15th or whatever date it is uh, this year. But yeah, I see the, the fear in your faces. That's tax season, of course. And uh, this song is called The Devil's Away with the Exile Man. And it is a song about a town who is rejoicing the devil for saving them from the tax man. Of course, we, we are in a sanctuary, so we're protected from both, of course. Uh, and within this song, uh, we have uh, put a, an Irish tune in there, uh, which uh, if you were here uh, for the first hour, uh, you might recognize. So we uh, lovingly call this one, The Devil's Away with the Washer. Everybody, that's Patrick Rooney on vocals. So, not to name drop, but I know Patrick Rooney, and he just got back from filming a movie up in New York, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> this next set's going to feature Thomas at the beginning. One of the traditions associated with traditional Irish music making is to have different sets arranged in many, many different ways, as you've already experienced. This particular one is no exception. It starts with a solo instrument. That's going to be Thomas playing on the Irish flute. And the name of this tune is Moving Clouds.
right. Well, we have another little song for you, I think, do we? Uh, we'll two. Two. I'm wealthy. Yes. So, oh, uh, no, Carol in tune. Yeah. Yes. We're going to do a lovely set. I like to think of it as a waltz. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they had waltzes then quite developed. Probably not. But it certainly feels like one. It's two lovely tunes by Trula O'Carolyn. One is called O'Carolyn's Welcome, and the other one is the very famous She Big and She More, which means big fairy, little fairy. Actually, little fairy, big fairy. It's backwards than what you would think. <laughs> <laughs> We always have to wait for the piper. for you. <laughs> and uh, it's a lovely tune. The words are by uh, Robert Burns again. So just, you know, don't tell them that we played two Scottish songs at a St. Patrick's Day concert, but they're worth playing. Um, it's called Willie Stewart. Willie Stewart was his favorite innkeeper or pub keeper. And uh, I'm going to teach you the lyrics for the refrain. And if you would like to join me, I would like that very much. Um, the only thing is they're slightly complicated just because they are written in a words that we don't use so often anymore. So I will say them and then you say them back and that would be great. So first is your welcome Willie Stewart. Your welcome Willie Stewart. Your welcome Willie Stewart. Your welcome Willie Stewart. That's easy. And now he's explaining that he is happier to see Willie Stewart than the flowers in May. Which if you think about how cold and yucky it is in the Scottish Highlands, you must really like Mr. Willie Stewart if you'd rather see him than the flowers in May. So <laughs> it says, there's ne'er a flower that blooms in May. There's ne'er a flower that blooms in May. That's half so welcome as thou art. 
That's half so welcome as thou art. So let's do that again. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. There's ne'er a flower that blooms in May. There's ne'er a flower that blooms in May. That's half so welcome as thou art. That's half so welcome as thou art. You got it. And you, you'll be able to tell when to sing, I promise. <laughs> cannot renew it, but worth and truth, eternal youth, will grant thee Willie Stewart. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. There's ne'er a flower that blooms in May, that's of so welcome thou art. May she whose arms and fall thy charms possess a loyal and true heart. To her be given, to can the heaven, she knows in Willie Stewart. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. You're welcome, Willie Stewart. There's there a flower that blooms in May, the star so welcome star.
too much. That's a lot of fun, as you may have noticed. We're going to do a set now of tunes from County Donegal in northwestern Ireland. The first tune is one that Thomas and I learned off of an old itchy and scratchy cassette recording, a field recording by the great Irish fiddler named John Doherty, a giant in Irish traditional music. And the name of that tune is titled The Further In, The Deeper. It's a story about a piper who goes into a cave and never comes out. <laughs> but the acoustics were amazing. <laughs>
very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, the first track off of, off of our album, Bolt the Door, which is for sale over at the merch table. Uh, we encourage you to go buy it. Buy a couple copies. Send them out to your friends <laughs> or enemies, whoever you want. Uh, they'll be happy to have the music, or they won't. Either way, we'll be happy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just all me uh, giving myself a second to catch my breath. Uh, it's a very uh, invigorating set. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'll sing a song for you now. It's a, another Scottish song. Uh, so here we go. And uh, this is a love song entitled Wild Mountain Time. If you happen to know the lyrics, please, please feel free to sing along in the chorus. Oh, the summertime is coming, and the trees are sweetly blooming with the wild mountain time. Rose around the blooming heather. Will you go? I see you go. And we'll all go together to the wild mountain time. All around the blooming heather. Will you go? I see you Um, it, we weren't joking before that we did have an early piece. It's uh, from the 1200s. It's from the northern region of Spain, Galicia, which is the Gaelic region. You know, they, they, their national dance looks vaguely like the Highland dance. They wear kilts. They have a particular type of bagpipe called a gaita that they play, and they like to play two at a time, right, in thirds. 
which I can only imagine how in tune that must be. But it's very beautiful. It's a very particular kind of sound. So this piece is called Santa Maria Estrella do Dia, and it's in Gallego, the language of northern Spain. Um, and it's part of a group of 400 songs dedicated to the Virgin Mary. This is number 100, and it means um, Saint Mary, star of the day. And the person who wrote it not only managed to write 400 songs, but he did all sorts of other things while being king and doing things like wars and laws and all those other things that he had to do. So very prolific writer. So here we go. Starting with Patrick and Lance. Is that a jig? Yes. <laughs> it's an awesome jig. It starts with a heavy metal <coughs> intro. <laughs> so we go from 12th century to heavy metal. <coughs> As one does.
right, so we have one more very fun song. It's uh, called the Murder Ballad because there is a, an actual genre of songs called murder ballads, and they're generally somewhat comical, at least a little bit, at least until the murder part. But anyway, um, it has a little repeating refrain, which you're welcome to join me in as well. Um, and it goes like this, I'll be true to my love if he'll be true to me. So, um, I'll be true to my love if he'll be true to me. And it comes at the end of each verse, and it goes, I'll be true unto my love if he'll be true to me. You want to try that? I'll be true unto my love if he'll be true to me. There we go. There were two sisters side by side. Sing a dum, sing a day. There were two sisters side by side. One for Johnny Pride. I'll be true unto my love if you be true to me. Johnny give the youngest a gay gold ring. Sing I dum, sing I day. Johnny give the youngest a gay gold ring. The boys are born for me. Johnny give the youngest a gay gold ring. He didn't give the eldest a single thing. I'll be true unto my love if you be true to me. Johnny give the youngest a beaver hat. Sing I dum, sing I day. Johnny get the youngest a beaver hat, the boys are born for me. Johnny get the youngest a beaver hat, the eldest didn't think much of that. I'll be true unto my love, if you be true to me. As they were walking by the foamy brim, sing I dum, sing I day. As they were walking by the foamy brim, the boys are born for me. As they were walking by the foamy brim, the eldest pushed the youngest in. Oh. I'll be true unto my love. Sister, give me thy hand, sing I dum, sing I day. Sister, oh sister, give me thy hand, the boys are born for me. Sister, oh sister, give me thy hand, and you can take Johnny and all his land. I'll be true unto my love, if you be true to me. Sister, I won't give thee my hand, sing I dum, sing I day. Sister, I won't give thee my hand, the boys are born for me. And I'll take Johnny and all his land. I'll be true unto my love if you be true to me. So there she sank and away she swam. Sing I dum, sing I day. So there she sank and away she swam. The boys are born for me. There she sank and away she swam until she reached the miller's dam. I'll be true unto my love if you be true to me. The miller took away her gay gold. Sing I dum, sing I day. The miller took away her gay gold ring. The boys are born for me. The miller took away her gay gold ring, and then he pushed her in again. I'll be true unto my love if you be true to me. The miller he was hanged on the mountain head. Sing I dum, sing I day. The miller he was hanged on the mountain head. The boys are born for me. The miller he was hanged on the mountain head. The eldest sister boiled in lead.
will now sing an Irish song. Uh, finally. This, finally, yes. Uh, as, as Wade had mentioned, I was uh, up doing an art project up in New York, uh, and it was a lot of fun. But while I am actually from there, uh, believe it or not, yes, please, mouth agape, it's okay. I'm reformed. No, I, oh, okay, you're from New York as well? Wonderful, yeah, we'll stay proud. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I was up there visiting uh, my, my, my parents at a certain time, and I came across uh, some naturalization papers of my grand, uh, great-grandparents uh, who came over from Ireland. And around that time, I was also listening to a singer, an Irish singer named Frank Hart, uh, who recorded an album with Donald Lunny. It's very, very much worth listening to. Uh, and it's a certain very specific type of singing uh, that Frank Hart does in a lot of ballads. And uh, he sings one song entitled Sailing Off to the Yankee Land. And it's a song that uh, is about, you know, Irish folks in the 19th century coming over to America, seeking better opportunities. Uh, and, you know, for, for the fact that, of course, uh, they were subjugated and, uh, you know, uh, had, had their own struggles. Uh, and, of course, uh, in singing this song, I like to think of any person uh, who finds themselves in America, uh, most often than not, is finding themselves uh, because, you know, of some unfortunate circumstance. Uh, and they deserve our charity and our open arms and appreciation. Uh, so this song is entitled Sailing Off to the Yankee Land. <laughs> All you young men, I pray, draw near now and give ear to the words I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you the people of Ireland are emigrating to America. Ah, yes, indeed, they're emigrating. This poor country they can't stand. They put their foot on board of a ship. They're sailing off to the Yankee land. And the night before they're due for leaving, all the neighbors in the house do wrong. For to take a farewell glass or otherwise to sing a song. Well, they danced all night to the early morning. Each man cutting all around the floor. The mother, she comes in, says, weeping, see your children to the door. Well, the father looks around the cabin, sees that he is all alone. Surely his poor heart's a break in, his salt tears could melt the snow. And hurrah for the gallant sons of Erin. This poor country they can't stand. They put their foot on board of a ship to sail in off to the Yankee land. Well, the other day as I went walking, down the road I chanced to go. I saw a crowd to me approaching. It surely filled my heart with woe. For I saw the carriages and coaches moving.
Thanks so much, everybody. We just have time for one more. It consists of one short phrase after another. And we appreciate your time very much today. Thank you so much for joining us, and happy St. Patrick's Day.